In today's class, I'm going to be teaching you on how to calculate your safe period and avoid getting pregnant. The first thing to note is that you should start counting from the day you started bleeding, not the day you finished bleeding. In calculating your safe period, you must start counting from the day you started seeing your menses and not the day you finished. So for example, if you started bleeding on the 4th, you start counting on the 4th, not the day you finished bleeding. The first day of bleeding is day 1, the second day, day 2, the third day, day 3, the fourth day, day 4, the fifth day, day 5, the sixth day, day 6, and so on and so forth. So the day you started bleeding is the first day. You start counting from that day. The second thing to note is that when it comes to calculating your safe period, you must avoid day 14th and the days around it. These days are the most dangerous days. If you count from the day you started bleeding down to the 14th day, you should avoid having sex on the day around the 14th day. Day 14th and the days around it should be avoided. These are danger days. Because it is the day the eggs are likely to be released. The probability of getting pregnant is very high. The third thing you should note is that every other day apart from these danger period is your safe period. The day you started bleeding is part of your safe period. These are safe periods. Note this. Period, safe period, safe period, safe period. All other days apart from this danger period and down to your next period in the next month are safe. The danger period, the days you avoid sexual intimacy are the days around the 14th day. I will repeat it one more time. The first thing is start counting from the day you started bleeding. That will be day one. The next thing is avoid day 14 and days around day 14. This method is advisable for ladies with fairly regular menstrual cycle. Fairly menstrual cycle is where the difference in the months is just few days. You might see your period on the 17th this month, an 18th next month, or 19th or 16th or 15th next month. The difference is not much. Few days plus or minus. We can say you have a fairly regular menstrual cycle. This method is not advisable for ladies with very short menstrual cycle. Those who see their period every three weeks. And it is not also advisable to ladies with very long menstrual cycle. Those who see their period once in two months. Both short and long menstrual cycle are not advised to use this method. This method only works for those with fairly regular menstrual cycle.